Hi there, let's talk about workouts you can do at home. Who knows when we can go back to the gym again, but I have great ideas for you just at home. Today is all about the sandbag. Now, I got this little doozy, 50 pounds at Home Depot for $6 yesterday. I have a fancy one that I bought a couple years ago, which I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna show you how to make your own. First of all, you don't have to use all 50 pounds. You can open up the bag, Put as much as you want into a into a trash bag because it's gonna leak 10 pounds 15 20 pounds once you have it in here then you're gonna put it into a pillowcase an old pillowcase get a rubber band and tie it up nice and tight now there's a couple things you can put in there you could put it in a backpack you can put it in an old gym bag that you're not using right now anything to carry it is gonna be great that's all you have to do to get your own weighted workout at home now let's get started we're gonna warm up easy breezy squats. I want your toes up in your shoes, your weight back in your heels, a little tiny, tiny, like half squats, just to get our body warmed up. This is gonna be a, a 10 minute workout that you can do. You can make, you can do it two times, three times. Um, you can always put the weight down and just do body weight, totally fine. But I'm gonna give you a couple examples of what you can do with the sandbag. 800 more, no, <laughs> just four more. Last two, last one, come up here. And now I want you to give a little bend in your knees, goal post arms, and just give me a little rotation. I just want you to warm up that upper body. Your head is gonna follow your hand, so you give me a full twist as you go. Just four more, then we'll do each one more time. Here's three, here's two, last one. And let's go back to those squats. Hands can be wherever you want. I always tend to grab my hands. They can be on your hips. They can be behind your back. I just need your chest up and your shoulders back as you're squatting. Please don't face away from me as in this. No, no, no. Stay up facing me. Good. Last three right here. Last two. Last one. Goal post arm. Just a quick range of motion. You should feel this in your core, which your obliques. Your core extends from your chest down to your pelvis. And if you wrapped tin foil around your body, that is your whole core. And anytime you do a weight, sandbag, dumbbells, you engage your core. Let's go one more time each way. Okay, now I'm gonna move this over just a little bit because I'm gonna use that little edge. I'm gonna pretend that's a counter at home, but for now, Please, every time you pick up your sandbag, bend down with your knees or else you're gonna hurt your back. No straight legs. Bend down with your knees, pick up your sandbag. I got this, by the way, it's called the Ultimate Sandbag. If you wanna order one from there, they have, of course, cute pink ones and other ones, but we are gonna hold it here. I'm actually going to put it up here because it's actually super comfortable. If you just have a backpack, you can put the backpack on. We're gonna do a weighted squat. Hello, how you doing? You might find you wanna empty the, some of the sand out to make it a little bit lighter and that's okay. The one I have now is actually built to be nice and comfy on your back, but a backpack works amazingly well. Let's just go four more like that. Here's three, here's two, last one. Now you lift it up and I want you to put it down the ground. Now, what do we do all day long? Well, when you have little kids, you pick things up and you put them away. That's what we're gonna do with the sandbag or your homemade um, backpack sandbag. Bend down with those knees, pick it up, put it on the shelf. It's a sneaky way to get you to squat. And every time you do it, please bend your knees. Now in a perfect world, I'm gonna have you turn halfway. So you'll be doing this, right? But I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna face away from you for the whole time. But you get the idea, pick up, bend, bend, bend those knees. Let's go two more. And one more, core, legs, glutes, now, if you have a backpack full of sand, 
you can grab your backpack with both handles or if you have a gym bag it's going to have a handle on the side we're going to do a one arm row I lift it up and bring it down both legs are a little bit bent you're thinking about squeezing your lat your big muscle in your back we're just going to do four more here's four here's three again you can adjust the weight here's two and one more and breathe and switch sides notice how i didn't jerk it up that's going to hurt your back i don't want you to do that both legs bent throw it up and i want you to breathe out on the hard part yes come on stay with me just four more just like that there's four good there's three come on here's two one more one put it down and breathe now let's do a little a little fun I'm gonna actually put this to the middle right here if you are just starting out I just want you to step over and step back I'm gonna move this just a little bit sorry step over and step back if you are in shape give me a little hop always nice to have something to hop over now I'm, I'm kind of close to this bench but you could also do whatever whew, whatever level works for you so you're either stepping over or hop or a double hop for 800 more let's go five four three two one now more fun we can have put one hand behind your back squat down touch it and come up level one is going to be right here you're staying up that chest is up shoulders are back you're here okay if you're in shape let's take a little a little bit more fun here if you are not if you are just starting out to exercise Give me a step and a touch but please keep that chest up do what is best for you listen to your own body you know what you can do if you can do a little more here we go just 800 no just 500 no. last four right here here's four here's three here's two here's one catch your breath shake it out oh my gosh now we're gonna pick it up, reach it up over our heads, and bring it back down here. If it's too heavy, please don't do it. I don't want you to hurt yourself or hurt your back. Whenever you're doing anything overhead, please keep those knees bent and that core tight to support your back. Okay. Let's start with it here. Lift it up. Bring it back here. See how my knees are bent? Lift it up. Not too many of these. My sandbag's kind of heavy. Bring it up. Come on. Bring it up. Nice. Let's go four more. Here's four. Good. Here's three. Here's two. Last one. And one. Okay, this last one I'm going to show you. It is going to be a plank, a variation of a plank. If you are not in great shape. I'm actually going to pull this back a little bit. Um, let's have you stay in a plank or you can stay in a squat. So move this back. What I'm going to do is be in a plank and I'm going to pull that bag to the side and to pull it to the side. So I'm going to be, yes, you can still see me here. I'm going to pull it to one side and then pull it to the other. Pull it to one side. Hello, Portastic. How are you today? Oh my goodness. We're gonna do five more. Five. There's four. There's three. There's two. There's one. Come on up. Take a great big deep breath up. And now let's do a quick hamstring stretch before we go. One heel's on the ground. Bend that leg and reach. I always say stretching is like dessert for your muscles. Please don't forget to stretch. 
I have a whole other playlist on my YouTube channel, The Perfect Balance, all stretching. So, so, so important to do. Let's come on up, let's switch sides. Sit back into that until you feel a nice stretch back in that hamstring. There are so many things you can do. You can YouTube sandbag workouts. That's just a quick glimpse of some things you can do. There's a ton more, but I hope you got a lot of value out of it and I hope you try it. If you do, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for spending these 10 minutes with me today. Have an amazing rest of your day.